Hey everyone, ASDF here. I'm here today to tell you about how you can use your Elgato Game Capture HD60 Pro without a second monitor or external display like a TV. The first thing you want to make sure of is that you actually have your Elgato HD60 Pro installed into your computer correctly. Uh, run the Game Capture HD software from Elgato, which I will actually provide a link to in the description of this video. This is what it looks like here. So once you have opened this, you'll see uh, in my instance, I have a Nintendo Switch plugged in. Uh, you may see no signal or something of that sort when you first run this. Uh, in general, though, you should see this over here on the right-hand side. Um, I have my Game Capture HD60 Pro showing up. No signal, of course. My switch is not powered on. What you'll want to do, though, is open these settings here. I have my profile set and ready to go for my switch. In this drop down, you can select which source you will be capturing or streaming from. Switch in my case, I've set the audio input to HDMI audio, which is the audio that comes from the source, the switch. This here, this is my mixer. We don't want sound from the mixer or any other audio source, so we will select the Game Capture uh, HDMI audio. Profile, you'll want to select what your monitor uh, outputs. Mine is 1080, so I've selected that. I've allowed 60 frames per second. I don't want anything less. This quality slider, I'm not too familiar with. I'm not an expert, I will admit, but I've based this on what I believe to be best for my connection while streaming. Okay, once you have all of that set under sources, you'll click add and select video capture device. You can name it whatever you like, HD60 Pro, whatever, hit okay. I've already added mine, so I'm going to select that. And what you'll be presented with after you hit OK is this screen here. Under device, you'll just make sure that it says Game Capture HD 60 Pro. I also have my webcam and my old capture card showing up. You can scroll down. You can do device default. I've selected custom resolution of 1080p. That's what my monitor outputs. I've matched the frames per second. And very important if you don't, well, if you want to also capture the audio and be able to hear it through your headphones or your speakers, is this right here at the bottom audio output mode. I believe it's set to capture audio only defaultly. So change that to Output Desktop Audio, and click OK. What you will soon notice, however, is that it does not always, or I, I'm sorry, it will not show up if the software is open. So let's close that. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my switch. Let's see what we get. It doesn't show up right away. You might want to refresh it by clicking hide and then show again. There we go. Perfect.
So great. You have your console open. It's on. You're able to see it, but only within OBS's preview. So how do we fix that? How are you able to play this full screen on one single monitor? And the answer to that is fairly easily. What you'll do, right click on your Elgato source, go up to full screen projector. Now this will not close any other applications that you might have open, so it's fine. So you select full screen projector source and select your monitor. I have a few displays. You might have one or two. Select that and you will see your game in full screen. So you're able to continue on without using a secondary monitor or television off to the side. So that's great and all you say, but how do you get out of this when you need to exit the game or read up on chat? And it might be a pain if this is your only screen, but all you do is hit escape. There's a window that it opens. Hitting escape will close that display and you're free to move on. Okay, everyone, I hope you found some use in this little tutorial. Um, if you'd like more tutorials on OBS or streaming on Twitch in general, uh, let me know in the comments. I look forward to making more of these. So just, uh, yeah, get in touch with me. You can check me out on Twitch. I'll put that link in the description as well. And uh, yeah, I hope this is some of use of you. And you guys have a great time streaming. Good luck and have fun.